Hey guys, this is Sir Mars and you are watching Lectures Ni Sir Mars. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for video updates. In this short video, I will discuss the area of the spherical triangle and how to compute them. Let us review what a sphere is. So a sphere is a three-dimensional object with no vertices or edges and all of its points are equidistant to its center point. A ball, for example, is a sphere. To form spherical triangles, we need lines called the great circles. But what are the great circles? Great circles are basically the biggest circles that can be drawn on the surface of a sphere. Again, let me repeat that the biggest circle that can be drawn on the surface of a sphere is called a great circle. If we consider the planet Earth as the sphere, the equator and the prime region are examples of great circles. What role do great circles play in forming the spherical triangles? A spherical triangle is a triangle that is enclosed by the arcs of three great circles on a sphere surface. As you can see from the figure here, a small triangle has formed through the intersection of the arcs of the drawn great circles. As a reminder, capital letters denote angles while the small letters denote the sides. Remember, this is very important in solving any spherical triangles problem, so please do not mix this up. The sum of all included or interior angles of a spherical triangle is greater than 180 degrees but less than 540 degrees. It means that A plus B plus C, which are the interior angles, the sum of these angles must be greater than 180 and must be less than or equal to 540 degrees. The area of a spherical triangle can be calculated using the following formula. The area A is equals to pi r squared e divided by 180 degrees, where the r is the radius of the sphere that is from the center of the sphere up to the surface, and e is the spherical excess. This is the amount by which the sum of the three angles of the triangle on a sphere exceeds 180 degrees. So we can compute the spherical excess E by using the formula A plus B plus C minus 180 degrees. Let's take a look at some example problems to see the applications of this formula. So for example, problem number one, what is the area of a spherical triangle ABC whose parts are A equals to 93 degrees 40 minutes B is equal to 64 degrees 12 minutes, C equals to 116 degrees 51 minutes, and the radius of the sphere is 100 meters. Okay, so we have choices here. So what we are going to compute here in this problem is the area of the spherical triangle. To solve this problem, we are given the values of the angle A, angle B, and angle C of the spherical triangle. Considering that the formula for the area is pi r squared e, divided by 180 degrees, and the value of the radius is given in the problem, which is 100 meters, we have enough information to solve for the area of the spherical triangle. We must compute the value of the spherical excess using this formula, which is A plus B plus C minus 180 degrees. As you can see from the given, we have the values of the three angles A, B, and C of the spherical triangle. We can substitute the values of these three angles into the formula, which will give us a spherical excess value of 94 degrees and 43 minutes. Next, we then proceed to substitute the value of E and R to our formula for the area. And we will get the final answer of 16,531.18 square meters. So from the choices in the problem, the correct answer is letter D, which is 16,531 square meters. Let us look at another problem. A spherical triangle has an area of 327.25 square kilometers. 
what is the radius of the sphere if its spherical excess is 30 degrees? This is relatively a simple problem to solve. We know that the formula for the area of a spherical triangle is pi r squared e divided by 180 degrees. We are given the value of the area in the problem, which is 327.25 square kilometers, and the spherical excess, which is 30 degrees. If we substitute these values, a and e, into our formula, the only unknown will be the r, which is the radius of the sphere and is what is asked in the problem. So using simple algebra, we will have a final answer of 25.00 kilometers. So from the choices in the problem, the correct answer is letter B. Here is a problem you can try after watching this video. This is a past board exam problem from May 2018 Civil Engineering Licensure Examination. The correct answer is in the video description below. If this lecture has helped you, Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, you can comment below or send your questions to my Facebook page, Lectures Knees from Mars. I will paste the link in the video description. You can also download the PDF of my lectures and PDF references for civil engineering by visiting my site. The link is also in the video description. Thank you again, guys. Once again, this is Sir Mars and see you in the next lecture.